Behind me is London Bridge, one of the most recognisable and iconic locations in London. I've been in London all my life and for the best of my knowledge, this has been the only London Bridge in existence. That was until about two weeks ago when I fell into a rabbit hole online and I found out that this is actually one of two London Bridges. What you're seeing on your screens right now is also London Bridge, but in Lake Hivasu City in Arizona. And it also began construction at the same time as this very bridge behind me in 1967. Now, London Bridge has been around a lot longer than that. In fact, if Wikipedia is to be trusted, it's been around since the year 1209. However, the bridge behind me isn't the same bridge that was built in that year. In fact, it was redesigned by John Rennie in 1831 and then again by Lord Holford in 1967. How then can London Bridge be both in London and Lake Havasu City at the very same time? And what the hell is Lake Havasu City? Well, the community first started as an army camp called Site 6 during the Second World War. In 1958, an American businessman, Robert P. McCulloch, purchased 3,000 acres of property on the east side of the Lake Havasu. And after four years of planning, McCulloch Properties acquired another 13,000 acres of federal land in the surrounding area. Well, all this means is a very rich guy decided there should be a city here and just plop one down. And according to the 2010 census, the population of the city was over 50,000 people. Not too bad. Hoping to attract tourists and potential buyers of resident lots in the newfound city, Mr. McCulloch bought the actual stones that constructed the 1831 John Rennie London Bridge when it was being deconstructed in 1967 to make way for the new Lord Holford design that could support more weight. And he bought it for 2.5 million US dollars from the city of London. The marked stones were then shipped to Lake Ivasu City and reassembled for another seven million dollars. The construction took three years to complete. Since then, London Bridge has become a huge tourist attraction for the city. And if Wikipedia is to be trusted, which in this particular case, I don't think it can be, but it says that it's the second biggest tourist attraction in the whole of Arizona, only second to the Grand Canyon. In that case, I guess that his plan was a success. Good on you, Mr. McCulloch. I am proud of you.